Riba is an Arabic term which means usually or oppression or most commonly referred to as interest uh, in, in, the, uh, in the common language. In the modern, in the modern business uh, activity, uh, riba or interest is mainly or predominantly used in the business model of banking institution. Let's say you wish to purchase your house worth 1 million USD. You don't have sufficient funds. So you go to the bank, you apply for a loan facility and the bank will grant you 1 million USD and expect a certain percent and put a certain percentage of that principal lend amount uh, to be repaid back by the borrower over a certain period of time. So let's say it's 10 percent. So the customer is expected to pay 1 million 100,000 over the duration of the loan period. So this 100,000, this 10 percent is considered as interest which is therefore a prohibition under Sharia, which is explicitly mentioned in various uh, Quranic verse, uh, for instance, Allah prohibits riba. There are two types of riba. The first one is riba nasiyah. Riba nasiyah is the increase of amount of borrowed of lending, the increase of lending amount uh, for the repayment of that that amount uh, over a period of time, as mentioned or explained to you uh, in my example before. The second type of riba, which is not commonly heard of is riba al-fadl. Riba al-fadl means the excess or the surplus uh, of the uh, type of commodity uh, over the sale or exchange period. So how does it happen? There are six ribawi items under Sharia which are gold, silver, dates, barley, wheat and salt. So let's say one party wishes to sell or wishes to exchange gold with another party. So Party A has 10 kg of gold, Party B has 20 kg of gold, but at a, at a poor quality. So they want to exchange with each other. So under Sharia, this is prohibited. This is impermissible because gold is a ribawi item which has to be exchanged equal to equal, like to like, and hand to hand. So even though it's the same type of commodity, which is gold, but because of the difference in terms of the quality and quantity, it therefore violates the prohibition under Sharia, which is the prohibition of, of riba.